there's all sorts of deja vu right now. I'm, I'm wearing my UPS hat and this jacket, and I was just over at Theater of Note talking to Rebecca, talking to a bunch of people. The last conversation I had was with Rebecca. And that's what I did when I did the Swimming in the Stream of Consciousness video. It was the same situ kind of situation. I mean, it's always the same. It, it, yeah. I'm inspired. And this moment is amazing. This day is amazing. Everything's fucking amazing. That was too extreme. I'm second guessing it right now. The reason it's amazing is because I say, because I say the words. Our words have power. What we say is real. When someone's yelling at us and we say, you're, you're so angry. Like, in what, what seems like recognizing the moment, we're actually creating it. When we say, you're so angry, people are angry. They, they, they are so angry. It, it manifests in them. And when, if someone comes at you yelling and you say, you're not angry, you're not angry. You just say it. You just, and they, they stop. The anger goes away. So I decided to take that to the next step. And tonight, I just, all night, I, this is, it, it's an amazing night. Everything is amazing. I use that fucking word amazing so much. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's not the words themselves are irrelevant. And, and you can hear a word a million times, but if it evokes the feeling, if, if there's feeling behind it, it's an effective word. The word love is an effective word. It can be. It, it gets overused, but it can be powerful. Everything flows so much more with two people, I tell you that. No, that's not true. It seems like that, but I think that we can flow with ourselves as if it's two people. I'm doing that right now. That's why there's no, that's why there's, the conversation doesn't get blocked. It, it continues on. And just by saying that it doesn't get blocked, it doesn't get blocked. By saying, I'm going to find parking on Ivar, I found parking on Ivar. First, what I did was I said, I'm going to find parking on this street. And I started driving. I was like, oh God, this is like, what am I saying that to? Am I talking to a God? Am I talking to myself? And then I started questioning it and I questioned it out loud. I was like, oh, I don't even. And then as I questioned it, I saw a parking spot and a guy turned the corner. And as I started to turn to take the spot, the guy turned into the spot and I saw, oh, because I had said there will be a parking spot, I manifested it. But when I second guessed it, I lost the spot and it was shown to me in the physical reality and I was aware of it so then, then I so I said okay so I turned the block and I went to the next street and I said I will find a spot on this street I mean it was chaos it was Saturday night downtown LA or in not downtown LA but in Hollywood and it's like it's not easy to find parking and I was running really late I thought I was running late I didn't know I knew I was in a hurry I knew I was just had to get there so I said I will find parking on Ivar or on, uh, yeah, I think I ended up parking on Ivar. Coango was the first street. And I found it. Because I said I would. And I'm talking like in the moment. We create the moment. Not talking about your plans tomorrow. Not talking about making plans. I'm talking about you create the moment. Anything you can evoke, you can create this. And we do it without realizing it sometimes. At least that was the past we did it without realizing it. I think we realize what's happening now. I think we realize that we can fucking make the moment anything just by saying it. At work all day, I was... People would say, how are you doing? I would say, it's an amazing day. It's amazing. I... Everything is... I, I love this restaurant. But but it's it's saying that it is an amazing day. The people would respond and say, oh, thank you. Or, or they would say, they would be, they would say, is it? And I would say, yeah. And they would say, yeah, it is. Literally, those would be the words. They would say, I would say it's an amazing day, and they would question it, but, but not powerfully. It would just be like, is it? Like giving me a moment to second guess it. And I would say, yeah, it is. And they would feel it. It would change. It becomes an amazing day. It becomes, it becomes real. 
and that's all we have to do. No, it's deeper. We have to make eye contact. That's it. That's it. There's something going on when we, when we make eye contact, when we look into each other's eyes. There's something going on. We forget what we're seeing. There are points when, when, peop, when you forget what you're seeing. We, everybody, you forget. It's not, you're not paying attention to what you're seeing with your eyes because you're making eye contact. You, it's something else is happening. And that's why people look down at the ground so much is because that's big. And we can make that anytime, anywhere. And we will. We are. We're doing it. We, the collective, it's happening. The collective. What a cult word that is. By collective, I mean the consciousness. I really believe that there is a consciousness, that it's something that exists. There's The universe is. There's no space. Space is fucking an illusion. It, it, space is an illusion that our physical bodies experience. All of this is a fucking illusion. My pink cup is an illusion. My body is an illusion. The sensor, this, my sensory perception is all an illusion. It's an illusory experience. And I think that when we die, we real, eventually we realize that. It becomes very clear, but I think that we can realize it before death. I think that we can realize it in life. I think that we are. I know that we are. I am. And so are you. Because we're experiencing the same thing. I lost my train of thought. But that's okay, that's okay. That's why there's video. That's what's so great about video is now I get to go back and watch it and feel and feel the train again. Even though, you know, trains sometimes when you're, because that would have been the time for you to respond. And it would have been fucking powerful conversation. It's got, you know, two ways. It's got, when you, when you respond to me in this moment, that's the, I mean, that's conversation, you know, that's, that's the most amazing thing because we can create each other's reality and we do. The human race is evolving because we're aware of what's going on, finally. People aren't gonna look at the ground as much. People are gonna look at each other. And it's very real. And I'm happy to be a part of it. I'm not happy, I'm just a part of it. I'm aware of it. Now we're all aware of it. 